Welcome to uh, Steno 24-7 for all the new people watching my channel and subscribing. And thank you so much for the other people that have it um, subscribed. But I think mostly this group is a new group. My 50, 60 word and 70 word per minute group. This is a new group. So thank you everyone for subscribing. This will be selection number 34, 791 words on the subject of furnishing necessaries to wife at 60 words per minute this will be in the playlist and the category is dictations 50 60 and 70 words per minute on YouTube if you like this video give me a thumbs up how about that and if you'd like to leave a comment please leave a comment in the comment section share you know like all that good stuff and if you really like what I'm doing you can also go on patreon and support me at patreon.com steno duchess just to let you guys know that so let's get started with this 60 words per minute jury charge ready that's right ladies and gentlemen of the jury it is the law of this state that a man, when he enters into the marriage relation, takes upon himself the duty of supplying his wife with the necessaries. And if through his own fault he does not the wife by reason of the marriage relation has implied authority as his agent to procure such necessaries and the husband is responsible for what is so supplied if the husband refuses to furnish necessaries to his wife she may secure them elsewhere and he is liable under the law therefore However, one who sells goods to a wife can recover from the husband only upon proof that the husband authorized the purchase or that he refused or neglected to provide a suitable support for his wife and that the goods sold were in fact necessaries the term necessaries in this regard is not limited to articles of food and clothing required to preserve life or personal decency but includes such articles of utility or ornament as are suitable to maintain the wife according to her husband's station in life now the plaintiff claims that the goods furnished were necessaries and that same have not been paid for. When a person renders services or furnishes money or goods to another with the latter's knowledge 
and consent, the law presumes that the person for whom such services were performed or goods and money furnished intends to pay for the same. When a person claims that such goods and money were furnished voluntarily, the burden of proof rests upon such person to prove by a preponderance of the evidence that such goods and money were furnished without expectation of compensation or that the same were not to be paid for and even though there was no contract of sale for the presumption is that payment was intended. I had to take two, these both of these down, the 50 and the 60 a word per minute videos that I made earlier because I made um a little mistake at the end there, so I redid them over. So this is how they're supposed to sound. I added an extra sentence at the end, which I'm sure you probably noticed. I seen I had like five views already, so I'm sorry. I did have to take these videos down, and I do have to reload them because um, I did have a major mistake at the end, and I wanted to correct them. So thank you so much for bearing with me, and here, here comes these two videos right back at you.